صحيح مقيرة ويبدأت بارك الله فيكم الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وصلى الله وبارك على النبي محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم الحمد لله it's important for everyone every single one of us to know why we are here within this dunya as Allah Taala has described this affair of the dunya as being in lab and lab an affair of mere play and amusement this affair of the dunya is one that is not thameen it's not an affair that carries great value rather our goal in this dunya, us being here in this dunya, our existence in this dunya is for the worship of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alone. As Allah ta'ala states, وَمَا خَلَقْتُ الْجِنَّ وَإِنْسَ إِلَّا لِيَعْبُدُونَ I've not created a jinn, nor all of mankind, except to worship me alone. This is why we're here, ikhwan. And this, no doubt, وَلِلَّهِ الْحَمْدِ is a benefit for us to know and something that sets us aside when individuals are asking what is the meaning of life, what is the purpose I'm here within this dunya we know quite simply that we are here to worship our Lord and he subhanahu wa ta'ala has created us for that, for that purpose and no doubt from the rahmah of Allah ta'ala upon us and from the ease that is granted for us as a creation is that he not, did not just create us with this purpose without any means of guidance rather he sent prophets and messengers with this command as Allah Taala states, "وَلَقَدْ بَعَثْنَا فِي كُلِّ أُمَّةٍ رَسُولًا أَنْ إِبْدَ اللَّهَ وَشَنِبُ الْتَاقُوتِ." I sent to every nation a messenger with the command of worshiping Allah Taala alone and staying away from the false deity. And this is the command. This is what we have, this is what we have to be upon as individuals. And every nation, a messenger was sent to them. Informing them of the affair of worshiping Allah alone, but also informing them how to worship Allah Ta'ala alone. And at the head of them and the seal of them, no doubt, is our Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. That his way and his sunnah is the manner in which we should worship Allah and embark upon our lives. As he's mentioned, Alaykum bi sunnati. Upon you is my sunnah. I upon you is my way. Likewise, Allah Ta'ala mentioned, Ati Allah wa Ati al Rasul. Obey Allah and obey the Messenger. A command from Allah Ta'ala. To obey the way of the Nabi alayhi salatu wasalam. To follow the straight path, the Surat al Mustaqim. The way of the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And no doubt from his sunnah is this affair that we are here for today, alhamdulillah. Which is the affair of the nikah, the affair of the marriage. That marrying is from that which the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam encouraged. But when we statement, Ya ma'ashir al-shabaab, man yasateen minkum al-ba' faith is always. Oh youth, whoever from you are able to do so, then let him marry. That's an encouragement from the Messenger of Allah, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, for the individual to marry, for the individual to increase the Ummah, for the individual to protect themselves from the harms of this dunya. Fulfilling this affair of marriage. 
fulfilling the advice of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. For we understand that the Nabi alayhi salatu was salam did not leave up for any form of khayr except that he called us to it. And there was no shark, there was no evil except that he sallallahu alayhi wasallam warned us against it. And so we understand by way of this that when he's encouraging us with the affair of marriage we know that it's an affair of good, it's an affair of khayr. An affair of barakah. He, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, encouraged us with this affair. He, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, mentioning, mentions the affair of a zawaj, of al wudud and wurud, marrying the woman that is loving, forbearing, and childbearing. فَإِنِّي مَكَافِرُ الْعَنْبِيَا الْيَوْمُ الْكِيَامِ for indeed I will be from those that boast large amounts, large numbers amongst the Anbiya and Yawm Al-Qiyamah. And this affair of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam boasting large amounts of his Ummah occurs by way no doubt of marriage. Marrying the childbearing woman. Increasing the amounts of the Ummah, all within the advice of the Messenger of Allah, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And when we address this affair of marriage, upon us first and foremost is to be as men, here to be as those that are leaders of the household, leaders. In our mas'uliyya. You are the sultan of the home. You are the one that has authority within that household. But you lead by example. You lead as a man that is Sunni. A man that is upon the sunnah. And it's not a means of you just to exert force. And based upon any of your whims and desires. Rather, you lead that household upon the book of Allah and the sunnah of the Messenger of Allah. And if you come to a dispute or you disagree in an affair with your spouse, return it back to the book of Allah and the sunnah of the Messenger of Allah. For indeed, no doubt, success lies within the nusus. Success lies within the text. And so when a person adheres to the text from the book of Allah, when a person adheres to the text from the sunnah, within that will find, the person will find success in all their affairs. And from that is marriage. Amongst that is marriage. The sunnah informs us of the rights of the husband and the rights of the wife. Upon individuals is to adhere to those rights. Give every individual that those the right which is due to them. And do not neglect any of the rights of individuals. And when this is done, no doubt. A person will find barakah in their affairs. And so as mentioned before, we are here to worship Allah. Alhamdulillah, from the rahmah of Allah, to barakah wa ta'ala, is that he sent prophets and messengers so we know how to worship him. Even in this affair of marriage, we know how to be from the Muslim, we know how to be from those that submit to Allah tabarakahu wa ta'ala. For indeed we adhere to the rights of the spouses. And we take from the advice of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa when he encourages the affair of marriage. Because it's an affair of khayr. It's an affair of protection. 
as an affair that may bring about success. And we ask Allah Taala that he blesses our brother Fahmi and his new wife within this dunya and the akhirah and allows them to have a marriage which is upon the sunnah of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi and a marriage upon success Fabarakallahu feekum jazakum Allahu khaira wa sallallahu wa barak ala nabina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam jazakum Allahu khaira